discuss how to set up a new project in Archicad 23. So if you're ready, let's get started. Now, I have Archicad 23 open. Right now we are in the start screen and there are a few uh, things that we can do in the start screen and I'll go direct into, into discussing the options that are available for us as you can see this is a brand new feature that has come with Archicad 23 the start screen looks different from what we had in the previous versions of Archicad now up here we have a new button for creating a new project and the next one is browse which we can use if we want to browse for a project that is stored uh, in our local disk in our computer and the third option is teamwork which can be used to launch the Archicad teamwork that allows us the designers, architects, engineers and all trades involved in a construction project to collaborate in the design of that project. Down here we have a list of recent projects and the one highlighted here is the project that I've been working on. I've only worked on one project using this version. So if we add uh, other projects, they will populate all this white screen that you can see here. And when I want to open a, a recent project, I can either double click on it to open it or I can click on it then down here use this button written open selected and the project will open if I want to to close Archicad while at uh, this point I can use the red X up here or rather I can use this button down here written quit Archicad if I click on it the program is going to close. Now up here there is a bar for searching for a project by filtering using either the name or other keywords and we can also sort the projects that appear here under recent projects using these parameters either the name last time you used it the size of the project or the type of the project so now for this pro for this tutorial what we want to do is to create a new project so I will come here up here and click on create a new project and then now click on that and I wait for a new project to be created so now when creating a new project we want to choose the template that we will use and if you click on this drop down we have Archicad 23 and if you have another template you can browse for another template and choose it so right now I will have Archicad 23 template and I will use the default default profile as the work environment profile and I'll click on new as you can see Archicad is creating a new project for us and then after it has created a new project for us we can be able now to do some uh, customizations and some settings for us to get started with our project so let's wait for the project to open it's taking some time but in uh, a few seconds we will have our project I hope you can see the progress on my screen there's a new untitled project and when now Archicad has opened a new project for us 
we have a, a white blank screen which is going to be a working space it is going to be the place where we will uh, rather if you are creating a project let's say a building project this is going to be the place where you will have all your drawings done from your design your workings everything is done on this big white screen or we can choose whether you want to have it appear as a big white screen or we can have some grids and these grids can be enabled by going up here in view and then selecting construction grid display and you can see it now looks better another thing that i want to do before i get started is click on this and i'll be able to have the project browser selected then i'll use this button up here to show or hide the navigator so choose the option show navigator and as you can see this now gets displayed on this side i can see the stories that i have the sections the elevations and all other details for my project the next thing the next thing sorry the next thing that i want us to do is to set some story heights some settings create some new uh, floors that is in terms of ground floor basement rather first floor second floor and such so what i will do is with ground floor selected i will move down here to settings which is here in uh, the bottom right corner click on settings and story settings is opened you can be able to change the height to the seal the, the, the floor to ceiling height for every project which is the height to the next story i will have minus 2800 i'm using millimeters for my project now let's say i want to insert a story above uh, number two so i'll select this and click on insert above which will be my number three and i want to number this i want to call this as as a first floor so you realize you can be able to change the name by double clicking on that space there then i can write second floor and for this i write the third floor that is the height that i want to display i want to create a basement floor below the ground floor so i'll click to select ground floor then i use this button insert insert below and i will have a floor below the ground one and i want to set this height as um, 3500 millimeters and i'll call it double click basement floor let's say i by mistake i created another floor let's say below the basement i have another basement and i want to delete that i'll click on it to select it and then use this button delete story and it will be gone now after doing the settings i'll click on okay here and as you can see below the project browser you can see the number of or the, the stories that we've created and that is set for us that is set for us now the next thing that you should do before you start uh, designing your project is to have uh, the working units set now that this is very important for every project whether you are 
working in CAD, in AGICAD, or uh, other CAD softwares, or BIM softwares, or whether you are working uh, on your traditional drafting table, you have to have some working units, the units you will use for your project. So, to set the units, I will go to Options, then Project Preferences, and click on Working Units. If you look at this, we have um, more options compared to the previous versions of Archicad. So we have Length Unit, of which if you click on this drop-down, We'll have all these options from meter, this, this meter, centimeter, millimeter, fractional inches, all this to choose. So for me, I will have millimeter selected for my length unit. And for the area unit, I will have square meter. For the volume, I will select cubic meter as, as, as default. For the angles, I will have decimal degrees. For the layout unit, I will have millimeter also. And for numbers without units, that is font sizes and pieces. This one I will leave it as default, and then I will click OK. Now that is it for the working units. The next thing I want to do is set the dimension units. And I'll set them. Uh, let me show you something before we go to setting the dimension units. I want to show you how the dimensions look like. Let's say I will create a wall. I go to design, design tools, create a wall. So create a wall here and another wall here, and then go to dimensions. And put some dimensions now don't worry about this if you are starting you are just on your journey to learning Archicad there are a lot of tutorials out there I have a lot of tutorials on how to use Archicad to draw floor plans design multi-story houses I will link them in the description of this video for you to check them so this is the length between this wall and this wall from the inside and this is our dimension. I hope you've seen this in your drawings if you've interacted with construction drawings. So this is what I want us to set. Right now it's 9.277. I don't know what units we are using. But I want us to change the dimensioning units. Now this is different from what we've done in the last step. The last step was setting the working units. Right now I want us to set the dimensioning units. So we'll go to options, project preferences and choose dimensions and under dimensions we have these units that are here and for me I want to select plane millimeter and you notice if you click on this everything down here changes so I want to have millimeter here the decimal to be zero and down here there is witness line scalability I want everything to be scaled then I'll click OK and let's see what happens if you noticed there has been some change in that dimension and that's that's important so that when we have already started working on our project it will be easy for us to have uh, harmonized dimensioning uh, styles now let's say we've done most of the basic settings that are required for us to start our project now you only need to understand how to use the design tools, the documenting tools, and this, all these options up here. And the design tools that are here, the walls, the door, window, openings, and the likes. Opening, uh, if you can notice, 
if you've seen it's a new feature in archicad and we have some documenting tools down here we have dimensions yeah we have text we have uh, labels we have uh, fields lines i will prepare um, a beginner's guide tutorial for for those of us who are beginning to learn archicad and i'll post in it in the in in this channel so please subscribe for more updates now i hope you have uh, gained something from this video you've gotten some understanding of the basic setting basic settings that we need to work on before we start diving deeper into developing our projects and please just requesting you to leave a comment in the comment section below let me know how you found this video let me know if this video has been helpful to you also let me know what you want to learn next i'll be glad to get your requests and I'll then i will prepare tutorials for you and upload them in this same channel guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video